So after many years, it's time to finally say goodnight and goodbye to the Guitar Hero microphone. Now I've been using this for six or seven years doing video recording and it's done me well, but I have now just upgraded and I bought the Rode NT-USB and here in the UK that costs £125. I'll leave links in the description so you can check it out in your location. Now the first impression that I got when I got this out of the box is that it feels really robust, very very firm and sturdy, doesn't feel like it's going to fall over anytime soon, and the build quality seemed fantastic. Now at the moment I'm talking to you on the Guitar Hero microphone, which is a great USB microphone and it's done me well. Now this little section here is what I took from a video I did five years ago when I purchased the Blue Yeti mic, but I just didn't get on with it, I just didn't think the sound quality was that much better. So now it's time to switch over to the Rode mic Let's see whether you can tell the difference. So here we are now talking to you on the Rode mic. Now, I don't know at this stage whether there's any difference. I'll obviously listen back to it after I've recorded. So I would be interested, and please do leave a comment in the box below, whether you notice that there's any difference, whether there's an improvement, whether you see this as being worse. Just be honest, guys, and let me know what your thoughts are. Now, the device itself has got some other benefits rather than just a plug-in USB. Now, it has got onboard monitoring included, so you can actually plug your headphones into the side of the microphone and then you can monitor the recording without any audible delay. You can also just use this directly into an iPad with the correct attachment and again you can use it with apps like GarageBand and so therefore again it makes it very very convenient. Now I know there's some of you out there which will want to know about the geeky stuff. So this has 48 kilohertz 16-bit recording. It has a frequency response of 20 hertz right up to 20 kilohertz. The dimensions are 184 by 62 by 50 millimeters, and this just weighs 520 grams. So Rode are very proud of this microphone, and if you look at the online reviews, it's got fabulous reviews. Not many people give this less than four or five stars. Now, they say that it's perfect for voiceover work, for podcasts, vocals, and even recording an acoustic guitar. Now, one of the things that I like about this is that it sits in quite a neat form on the desk. Now, the box itself came and contained the Rode mic, obviously, the pop shield, and the tripod stand, and it had a long USB cable, probably 20 feet or so. There's a few different options of packages when you purchase this microphone. I've gone for the basic one, but if you want something like the Studio Microphone Boom Arm and the Microphone Shock Mount, then you can get those included with an extra package. That will cost you around about £100 more though, so it's worth just balancing it off against the price. Now, I'm not sure at this stage, but I'm sure you will be able to get third-party boom arms that will also fit this microphone. So my friends, I'm really looking forward to working with this microphone and seeing how I progress with it. Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts in the box below and I'll leave all of the links in the description so you can check out the different microphones and you know, if you're in the market for one then hopefully this will be of interest. But obviously over the course of the next few videos you'll hear hopefully how this microphone progresses. Thanks my friends for watching this video as always and I will see you on the next one.